from 23DB Production Studios in the Garden State, New Jersey. This is the Art of Music Tech with your hosts, Fela and Dennis. Let's go, let's go, let's go, and welcome to the Art of Music Tech. I'm your host, Fela, and my co-host, Dennis. Hello, everybody. Me and Dennis are mixing and business partners in 23DB. We do live recordings, produce music for some of the commercials we'll do in a way as endorsements we'll do uh, through like yeah, social lot, media. A, a of, it also becomes a studio recording too. Yeah. For that purpose. But yeah, working, we actually worked on the studio album. We just finally uh, finished. Yes. It didn't come out yet, but we recorded this album fall 2017. Yep. It's about to be released. So we do studio recordings as well. Yeah. For other artists. Yeah, and you can hear all of the things that we've we've worked on on our YouTube page, uh, 23DB Productions, all of our samples. Um, Actually, tomorrow, uh, we we, we tape maybe a a couple weeks ahead, but uh, we've been working on the... Uh, conversations with Christian, uh, Christian McBride, bassist. Uh, I tour with him as a front of house engineer. Uh, but we're also recording his gigs for conversations with Christian. Uh, tomorrow we're recording him and Oliver Lake, the saxophonist, uh, doing duets together. So we're going to get conversation and performance. So it's the best of both worlds for us as being podcasters and professional recording and mixing engineers and his series are pretty good because yeah he actually performs and yeah yeah the last last time with well the first time and last time uh-huh that was a pretty good uh, conversation too on top of the music they played oh yeah oh yeah he always brings a uh, a-list guest so today we're talking about diy kits on preamps, outboard gear, uh, the stuff that's very, very expensive and usually you want to shy away from for a while. But uh, it's a must. Uh, on for studio-grade recording. Yeah. Yeah. Um, gee, we're going through uh, stereo. Uh, you constantly build your rig. Yeah. No matter what you do, you, you yeah. add mics, you add more. Outboard yeah, gear, especially you outboard gear. Uh, you definitely want to keep up with the times, and the times are uh, looking pretty good on the pockets, especially with DIY kits. Uh, we're going to go over a few of them that are out there on the market. Uh, and the, the main thing, I think, is the reason why would you go that route. Yeah. And the comparison of you know what the real thing is. Yeah. Uh, and then what other brands building a, a clone of this particular gear or you buy a DIY kit and do it yourself. And the reason, yeah, why would you do that? Because you can really get a quantity for the same amount of price. You can almost get three compressors for the price of one. Yeah. Just by a lot of these kits, I'm just making it so easy to put together. It's no soldering. You need nothing more than a flathead that or plug and screwdriver. Play, almost plug and play. The, <laughs> yeah. the video we watched on their uh, website. Yeah, which we'll we'll uh, have the link in the summary. So yeah, check that out. Well, pro- well, yeah, we'll provide at least few websites where you can purchase all the DIY kits and uh, build your own rig from uh, 500 series to a uh, regular outboard gear. Those are single rack units. And yeah. Speaking of that, we're going to get into the UA, Universal Audio, 1176, versus a, a two mid-level priced, uh, not mid-level, but $600, $600 to $500, um, Warm Audio, WA76, and the Clark Technique, the Technique 76KT. The Warm Audio, WA76, is $598, and the Clark Technique... Uh, seventy six KT is four ninety nine retail. 
And of course, the 1176 UA original is about 1500. UA, uh, well, the original I think is came from UA, and they bought the rights to replicate 1176 Universal Audio. I think that's what happened. But those units, the older units, they super expensive. Oh, they're okay. Like really expensive. You see them in those high end studios. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that vintage stuff. Yeah, it's super expensive. Oh, okay. But we're talking about warm audio and Clark technique. Yeah. So they were trying to use great parts and build a cheaper version of this unit. And then another company, Hairball, uh -huh. which will have all the websites available in the summary. So you can click and uh, do your own research. Hairball is doing their version of, they have three versions of 1176. And yeah, they have sale on uh, version F, maybe, I believe, 525. Okay. Yep. Yep. And this thing is plug and play, what they were, uh, their new concept. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, three options on that, on that 1176 as far as do it yourself kits or just cheaper, but great sounding outboard. Yeah. Those, the hairball stuff is great. They are. At the Bunker Studio in Brooklyn. Yeah. Very popular studio with, with studios pretty much dying. One of the biggest studios right. in New York. I yeah, think. yeah. Pretty much. It's, it's, it's well, they're busy known. all the time. So Yeah. Very busy. They have they have those units, hair, uh, hairball units, and they are sound amazing. Yeah, up there with the Millennia Prees you mentioned earlier, too. Millennia Prees. Or but, I mean, those are $4,000. Oh, uh, eight channels, yeah. 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 I, I think the, uh, w the reason we're doing the comparison is because you can still go and buy Manly or Millennia or Neve, API, and Universal Audio mm -hmm. for eight channels. But those are two four $4,000 per unit yeah very expensive for a single channel well not uh, the four chan four, cha four channels from ua is two thousand dollars api four channels is about thirty six hundred and i think shadow hills have four channel preamp unit too it's almost four thousand mm -hmm. dollars uh you pay seven hundred up to a thousand dollar per channel yeah I mean, if you do it's a reasonable. math in uh, in high, and it's reasonable, uh, reasonable in uh, in the high end world equipment. Yeah. Because all the major studios have high end gear, and they yeah, and your they choice of it. And yeah, exactly, varieties are endless. Yeah, and you can just have you know, but in home use, you can have a solid single channel for you know that would work for. Most of your projects, especially if you're doing small studio stuff, vocal for an acoustic guitar line, you know, just things that can really make a mix pop from the beginning on tape. <laughs> Straight to tape. Straight yeah, to tape. Through, through a, a really good preamp and more so, I mean, EQs or compressors. Yeah. Either or mixing it up, it, it's it's up to you with with these do it yourself kits and uh, being able to house uh, up to eleven Modules, slots, yeah, slots and in, uh, in one, you know, in one thing. So those are Fish Five, right? Yeah, Fish Five. Yeah, and they have their five hundred pre's start at one twenty nine. So one hundred and twenty nine dollars per per channel. preamp channel, pretty damn good. You get yeah, you get. Five, six of those and a uh, couple EQs and compressors. Uh, you can do a full drum kit. Yeah. And just to give you a taste of what we're talking about as far as the 1176, uh, this is kind of a classic song, well, for me, as far as uh, the sound of the 1176 on a snare. Uh, check this out. And the vocal, I think vocal because Chris Lord Alge. Yeah, Chris Lord Alge was the engineer on this, and it uh, sounds great. It was one of those tracks that made me want to mix. Like, wow, that's very well put together when I first started thinking about being an engineer. So uh, we're going to play you a little bit of Sade's Cherish the Day. All right, 
hope hope you enjoyed that that's one of my favorite tracks and just a classic example of the 1176 series uh and why uh it's known for its own such a great great sound it sounds great in a laptop uh earbuds studio monitors uh yeah that was just a really really well done track and and it holds up uh, that was from like 1992 or something so yeah great track uh up next we're gonna get into api api diy kits yes the company called cappy yes. which is same api which is c <laughs> yes c a p i is how you spell the the name of that brand they look like api and they have similar gear right they uh, yeah the buttons and uh yeah they they very similar look yeah and i think even latest acoustic audio plugin had cappy gear module 2 in acoustic audio plugin but anyway uh those rigs are expensive well as i mentioned before api stuff is it's almost a thousand dollar per channel if you want eq preamp and compressor that probably costs you what four thousand dollars? Huh. Yeah. Three thirty five hundred maybe. Oh 3, yeah. E- easily. Easily. And but uh, the reason why you want to look into Cappy gear or any other DIY kits, I think, is you would understand more of you know the real studio great sound coming from you know from your a, a little apartment or basement or you know your kitchen or your closet yeah wherever you record uh-huh i mean you can go you still can go to a studio and pay thousand dollar for a studio and then pay another thousand dollar to an engineer who's gonna you know use all the tools while you're in the booth recording or you know playing an instrument yep yeah. yeah uh this is just an alternative way to get it in your space and good very good alternative as far as technology is so advanced right now that everything is available on google you just do a research in google all the all the things you see or you like and yeah you're getting quite a few channels even if you just combine i mean cappy has 500 series as we say it so we can Add that in with the and the uh, and, and the use of, you know with the other preamps we were talking about earlier. So it's just one of never many, ending. and the cap yeah. is just one of many. Because if we're talking about actual units, if you want those clones, War Audio had compressors, EQs, and preamps. You know from Neve API and but on the other hand, you see the reviews on all those companies, and I hear a lot of good stuff about stem audio a lot of people talk about stem audio and uh, we're familiar with chameleon labs they weren't around for a minute but yeah they were they were at nam this year so yeah they they yeah they they have uh, a neve in the pretty good uh, their their version of neve sound is uh it looks sexy yeah the look and knobs yeah and the housing the is yeah really nice yeah. And affordable too. Yeah, they were like seven or eight hundred dollars per per unit, which which is preamp and EQ. Yeah. For seven or eight hundred dollars. Not too bad still. Yeah. Crazy. I mean if you only go for one or two channels. And speaking of API, I really like API sound and a lot of great albums were recorded or mixed in API, but as far as sound, yeah, I really like it on uh, Radiohead mixes. And I think they record through API a lot, too. So we're going to play a song from their album, Hail to the Thief. Yeah, and their longtime producer is, is also their engineer, right? Nigel, Nigel. Yeah. I think uh, they re- they mix this album in California on, uh, like, custom-made API that had, you know, certain tweaks and... They went particular. They went for that sound. They went to California and mixed on this particular board. All right. So that's what I, uh, yeah, that's what I read about 
the the whole process. So, and uh, Leah, let's hear the sample. All right, play it. All right, guys. So this was Radio Ahead and a song called There There. Yeah. Again, at API at work, check out Cappy. If you like that sound, that warmth, how could you not in what we do? <laughs> but there's so many options. Uh, just check it out. And it, it's not what we're talking about as far as the do-it-yourself kits. It, it's no soldering involved we're talking about some of them you have to uh, you have to have you know they i think some of the website they specify skill set like you have to do a simple step yeah so i mean but as far as yeah as far as putting nothing outrageous yeah and if you i mean if you completely lost youtube yeah (laughs) oh yeah it'll talk you right through uh yeah we use it both all all the time (laughs) they uh they they have couple couple videos on those hairball joints so uh huh yeah the videos are available and I'm sure they have tech support and with their updated stuff yeah. it's even better plug and play the 23 dB career tip of the day next on the Art of Music Tech podcast career tip of the day um actually this whole episode is the career tip of the day <laughs> um. If you want to really push your sound to the, you know, another level, get excited about recording and and hearing closer to what your ear wants to hear, basically, uh, compared to what you hear on radio and uh, NPR or you know, really well recorded projects. Uh, these these are the things that they that were used and. Here are the more affordable al- alternatives that sound pretty darn close to what to these e- examples that we're giving. I mean, it also involves having uh, great musicians as well, but producers, engineers, yeah, I mean, editors, getting some decent gain into these <laughs> the these units, um, but you can get fairly close. Uh, Check out the the summaries below. Um, And also, check it out. Go through our, uh, actually we'll have it down in the summaries, uh, a link to our website. Uh, Click on the banner for audible.com. Audiobooks, you get two for free. Uh, Click through us. You're giving us a little love. Uh, I use it. Dennis uses it. Um, I've Listen to Herbie Hancock's bio, uh, Gucci Mane, <laughs> to Sammy Hagar. Sammy Hagar. I mean, it just, together in the car. Yeah, yeah. While driving. On a long road trip for, for Nam. <laughs> yeah. Um, hearing people's, how people get through struggle is it, very inspiring. Uh but not only biographies you can get into business. It's just um, a great way to get through more books. I mean, we're all on the run. We're on trains, planes, automobiles, and you download a good book and some good podcasts like The Art of Music Tech. <laughs> and I like audiobooks myself. They're, yeah. They're good. Yeah, yeah. Why not learn on the road? So check that out uh, in our summary below. Show us a little love. Uh, also, the some of the uh, uh, the things that we have tagged as far as uh, gear as well. Uh, click through those uh, those links that we have, uh, and without even adding anything to the price, uh, it shows a little love our way. It shows that we're we have listeners in <laughs> and we're we're showing you stuff that you're really using and it's great all the way around and yeah. you can actually see it and you know and read tech specs about it yeah we got all and the information reviews yeah from got other people more videos not just us uh yeah do your research on all of this stuff but 
you know, once you figure out what works for you and your recording space, uh, click through us, uh, through what you've learned through us. Uh, follow, share, and post any comments, questions. Uh, leave some comments on iTunes. We're on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Uh, share with friends that love audio, and you get to hear with these, like these samples that we heard, you know, we were listening to earlier, what the gear sounds like in action. And um, we want that to help everybody that's uh, going through this journey of learning audio. So thank you for listening and thank you for supporting. I think that's about all for today, Dennis, right? Yes. All right. Thank you for listening and talk to you later. Let's go. Let's go. For more information of booking 23DB Productions, visit their website at 23dbproductions.com. Like and follow 23DB Productions at Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter for the latest work.